Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly minutes before we have to leave this morning um, I got a call yesterday that I needed to take Abby into an orthopedic specialist based off of her x-rays that we just got done at Children's Hospital might be a slight fracture on her L1 but they wanted the orthopedic specialist to look at the x-rays themselves and make that determination in case you're new here Abby has had extreme back pain since last October and we've done a couple different methods to try and alleviate the pain, fix hormones. Um, we've gotten x-rays now. We've done blood work. I'm waiting on the rheumatology blood work to come back. I'm expecting that to come back today or tomorrow. So I'll update you if we get that information back. But right now we're going to go see an orthopedic specialist. It's about 40 minutes away. And when I called yesterday to schedule the appointment, <laughs> she's like... You can either go um, to Seattle or this location, which is down south from where we're at, or you can wait until June 1st <laughs> to get a closer location. Today is May 11th, I believe. I think it's the 11th. I didn't want to wait that long. I want to get some answers and help Abby as soon as we possibly can. So we have a 40-minute drive, and I'd rather drive the direction we're going Rather than um, fight traffic and go over to Seattle and, and worry about that, there's a toll bridge that I'd have to take or fight traffic all up through the main part of Seattle, which I don't want to do on a any morning. <laughs> I don't want to do, especially by myself. I have to go by myself because they only allow one parent to come into Children's Hospital right now. Um, unless it's like an emergency room type setting. So, that's what we are headed to do. Abby is getting ready, and she doesn't like being in a car or around when I'm trying to give information. I've got my hospital mask. <laughs> we're in the hospital so much these days that I have to remember to take a mask now. But, we're going to go and try and get some answers. I'll take you with me along the way um, and update you. Maybe we will have answers today from the doctor, but... You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody I don't need anybody else All right, we are actually at Walmart right now. Abby is not going to go back to school. She's on late start today, so her school doesn't even start for like an hour and a half. And uh, she's not feeling it. <laughs> so she's going to work from home. As she gets home her biology is a video so she's gonna watch the video from home and do her homework from home hey how's it going hey how you doing are you headed to work yeah but i forgot i have a meeting with daryl i'm a little bit late but i'm about to pull the parking lot oh okay uh, well minutes. okay well it's a pretty quick update she didn't see anything on the x-ray she's like i know that they said that there might be a fracture on the l1 and they were kind of concerned. She's like, I actually think it's a shadow of her diaphragm. <laughs> she's like, I don't think it's anything. And she's like, I don't even know that it's anything bone related. She's like, I think it 
either she stressed it somehow in the muscle and so then it just progressively feels worse you know oh. um and so we're gonna do physical therapy once or twice a week for six weeks and we're hoping to be able to do that at Swedish back at you know back there so it's easier And then, uh, yeah, so she's really hoping that the physical therapy will fix it. She's putting her on a different pain medication. She's worried. She's like, I think it's fine. And it was a good move for your doctor to get her on, um, two pills of the naproxen versus what she's, you know, was doing only one. She's like, I don't want that to hurt her tummy of down the line. And so yeah. she put her on a different one, a, a prescription one, and it'll be once a day. And then after you've done physical therapy, I kind of want to do some blood work and make sure that you're not hurting your stomach or hurting your kidney um, from yeah, all this pain medication. Long. I know. Yeah. yeah. Taking it that long is not good. Yeah. She's yeah. like, and I think she's young enough that it'll be fine, but uh, you know, you, you might as well like check it before you yeah. have a problem. Yeah. So okay. that's the update. And we're at Walmart. We're going to go and shop for a bit and then come home. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad that's good news. Yeah. I'm going to my meeting here, so I'll talk to you later. But that's good news. Okay. All right. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. We're working on um, more gift ideas for the graduation baskets. You're going to see this in a video soon. I'm making nine baskets. And you guys, look at this. These are color changing little um, cups. And there's like a ton of different choices but we're gonna get these guys. You'll have to wait for this video because it's gonna be really fun. We also got candy for their bag as well. All right, major success at Walmart. I'll show you later what we got. Um, and then we ran over to the dollar store. It's right here on the corner of this little building here. And uh, got the, well, you'll have to see, you'll have to wait. Um, I'm doing graduation bags for eight, nine seniors for church. So I'm buying supplies for that. So I had to get the gift bags and um, some more supplies for that, the cards and that kind of stuff. But we are headed into Crumble and get the sign for you. We're gonna have experience here. I promise I will hold on to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Without you. So we just got home. This is what we got from Walmart. Abby went ahead and picked up some more of these cute tank tops. She wears these under her sweatshirts like almost daily. <laughs> They're literally like $3. I don't even remember. They're like not very much money at all. But got three different colors. Super cute. And then I found these. They were only $5 each. I got this one for Chelsea. That one for Chelsea. And then a gray one for Kaylee. And then look, I found a pair of shorts and they're not button fly if you are a regular here. They're not button fly, but they do fit like they're, they're more slimming fit. They're tighter to my body and it makes me look thinner. And that's really what I kind of wanted. And the darker color kind of disguised kind of the extra belly bump right here in that section. And then I can still like kind of do the front tuck in with my shirt that I like. And while I was kind of discouraged, that I have not lost more weight and I just got my A1C levels from the blood work I got done that hasn't it's only dropped by like 0.1 <laughs> and so I was kind of discouraged by that and then when I went to try on these these shorts and I had my regular size that I'm currently wearing in my in my pants that I have on and then a size smaller just in case and now I'm down a size so I think that was more important to me than actually losing weight because clearly I'm doing something, right? So that made me happy. Then Abby picked out a whole bunch of these pastas. These are just great, like single or double serve, um, serving as a pasta. They make these after school, like ramen or mac and cheese, but she likes these flavors better. So I just picked up a whole bunch of those. And then I got one of these sets of the Color Changer Tumblr, color, I can't say that, <laughs> color, changing tumblers because like seriously how cute is this seriously how cute is that they change colors this is like as they're changing so the two different colors that they would be i just couldn't resist so 
I think that the kids will have like having those this summer. Grabbed a thing of chips just for the fun of it. Okay, and here's a quick sneak peek and that's all you get to see. You're gonna have to stay tuned until tomorrow to see my entire graduation gift baskets. I'm doing a whole video about that and I will post it tomorrow, I believe. I believe I can do that tomorrow. Let me check my calendar. Yep, it's gonna go up tomorrow. I wanted to get it done so that people had a way of like searching for it for graduation ideas because people aren't quite graduating yet. And this video goes up next week, which I think is still before graduation for most people. Like we don't graduate until next month. <laughs> but if you want to watch that video, stay tuned because I have gotten an entire table full of stuff for get graduation and gift baskets. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. Okay, Ashley just got home and she's trying her cup for the first time. So it has ice in the bottom now. Isn't that so cool? It's orange, so it kind of makes it's it. orange soda. Yeah, it's kind of changing the. But that's cool. And when you touch it with warm hands, mm -hmm. it's like it like kind of leaves a little thumbprint where your warm hand was. Mm -hmm. Cool, huh? You have a good day at school. Yeah. All right. All right. I've been working on the computer and Marco pulling my sister for the little while, for a little while and editing. But I've got these little gift baskets done. You're gonna have to stay tuned. They're really cute. Okay. Kind of in a dash. Gotta take Chelsea to this concert, but I also need to go, where is that bag? I need to go to Target and the bank before it closes. Here it is. She needs a little bag to put stuff in. And then I have to just sit in my car for the next two hours. Wow, there's a lot of crap in here. Okay. Waiting for the concert to actually start. And then Jason's gonna join me down there. And maybe he'll bring me dinner. I'm not hungry right now. I've done well eating today. But, Chelsea, do you want one of these? What? Do you want one of these? No. Get a lemonade one. I don't know if there's a lemonade one. Okay. Let's go. Doesn't that look fantastic? <laughs> All the red lights from cars ahead of me. Oh, such a long concert. I am so tired. It's 8.30. Been here since 5.30. I am exhausted, but Chelsea did such a good job. She's tired too, so she's with Jason in his car somewhere over there. I don't know. <sighs> she's gonna have to go home and shower and go straight to bed. Um, luckily she brought a lot of food, so I'm sure she's snacking on that right now, but long day, but I'm glad it's over. We get to start it all over again and go to Children's Hospital again tomorrow at a different location, actually in Seattle tomorrow, which always makes me a little nervous, but it was the only place we could get her appointment. This is for Abby again. It's where she's going to get her wisdom teeth taken out. We have to go for the consult, so stay tuned for tomorrow. I don't know if I'll film too much of it. She's probably getting really sick of filming <laughs> these appointments that she's been having lately. Um, so unless anything drastic happens, I'll follow up as soon as that appointment is done uh, if anything exciting happens for the day. But for tonight, I'm signing off. Take care and see you guys next time.
Of all the magic places in the world I've been